Okay, we're now going to put attach the motor focuser onto the bottom of the telescope. As you can see, I've laid it out. I've got a bracket. I've got the uh, adapter part, motor, and inside we're given four screws, uh, four four nuts, uh, four washers, and a larger nut and a washer, a larger bolt, should I say, and a, and a washer there as well. Now, what you'll see first of all is that the motor here has two holes and the actual winding mechanism. So what we're going to do is, you can see that they line up under there. I don't know if you can see that, but the holes line up. And what we're going to do is, I'm just going to push that on there so it's tight. And what I've done is, I've pushed that on there and the holes line up. If I just angle it a little bit, then what we can do is, can actually screw these onto here okay this is the bottom of the Altair astroscope whether it be underneath now what we're going to have to do first is take off the focus the uh, tension knob here for the focuser and we're going to end up taking off this shorter the single speed wheel here as you can see all I've done to this so far is just pushed it on and the actual cable I've just pushed through the hole here and that will be how they'll have to be screwed on together with the motor on there as well. So all I've done so far is literally screw that in there and I've basically put the screws through this way. You could possibly put the screws the other way. And just to check it I've actually got the cable lead there. Just check that it goes in okay. It's not in the way. So there you go, that'd be connected like that. You could also probably have put the screws all the way through both because the screw holes do line up there. But there wasn't much thread left to put the nut on the end, so I didn't bother. I thought, okay, I might want some time to disconnect that as well. So that's how I've left it. It's just a matter now of screwing the motor with the same screws and washers and nuts onto there as well. Right so you can see now I've put these screws on here and also put these screws and washers on here just hand tight really I've not tied those up fully but I shall be. So the bracket is now really ready for going on. One thing I did just find out was that when you're adding that adapter part on there is that this spindle on the motor has got a flat part which is what you want to tighten the uh, allen key part to so mine when it when I just put it bracket on here it was facing away so there's no way I was going to be able to tighten that so what I've done is I've just connected the motor up and I've just given it a turn round so that it's now facing me so that when I put that on here snap that on here and look down the end to see that the flat part is facing the Allen key part and then tighten it up that way. Now what you'll find on this Altair Astroscope on the single speed side is it's got two Allen key places that tighten on it. One, sorry, one, two. So you need to loosen both of those I needed to get it off and get to that single speed one. And then we imagine that that would go like that. Oh. Once it's on the top there and fitted on, then we'll just go onto that bracket and fit like that when we fit it on. Okay, so what we've done now is, you can see that I've screwed tightened the uh, 
adapter onto the arm there. And what I've done now is just angled that on. So that fits on nicely onto there. Still not tightened these up again, I've made kept these loose. And then what we're ready to do is screw on. bracket screw nice and tight so that doesn't move and all we need to do now is tighten these up and tighten up the join here on the top in the adapter okay you can see here that it's all attached now and I've tightened everything up and what I've done is I've attached the, uh, the cable for the power here which is running over to the box which I've powered on a standard sort of 12 volt thing, so I'm just going to turn that on and just test this motor out what we can do is I think we can hold down auto turn it to manual and hopefully what we'll see if we position it out See this one going in as well. There goes the two. And out comes the two. So it seems to be working really well.